Hey guys, it's Sephiroth. One today I'm going to be showing you how to change the word start in your start menu to anything that you want. Um, in order to do this, you're going to have to download some software. Um, in order to download the software, you just got to bring up your internet browser. Let's wait for the page to load. Okay, once you're here, you're going to go to google.com and you're just gonna look up resource hacker alright now it should be the very very first link you're gonna click on that link it's gonna bring you to this page resource hacker homepage um, you're gonna scroll down on the homepage and you're gonna download whatever zip file I recommend the Europe zip file um, you're gonna click on it it should download okay mine's all done downloading um, and then you're going to go to your desktop and you're going to unzip it whether you use 7-zip or WinRAR is up to you it don't really matter I prefer 7-zip um, so you're gonna extract here it's gonna give you a bunch of files so let me bring the files up so you can see them better don't mind the beeping in the background it's a fire alarm type thing alright so once you got all these I'm just going to make a folder so it's not so scattered. Just name it Res Hacker. Okay, so once you got all these files, you're going to make a restore point because today we're going to be messing around with the uh, registry a little bit. So um, if you don't know how to make a restore point, I'll show you right now. Um, in Windows XP, you just go to Start, you go to all programs you go to accessories and then you go to system tools and it should be right in there called system restore you get just get click on that just wait for it to pop up okay you go into create a restore point you, you're not gonna want to restore my computer to an earlier time that will just uh, bring you back but you're gonna create a restore point name it whatever um, just actually I'm, I'm gonna name it before or hack then you gotta click on create and it's gonna make the restore point it might take a little while okay it's gonna say new restore point um, then you gotta click on close and um, if you ever need to restore your computer just like when your computer's booting up press F8 boot in safe mode and then uh, just uh, it'll ask you if you want to make a restore uh, if you want to do a restore point and you say yes um, okay, so now that we got the restore point, you're going to open up Res Hacker. You're going to close that out, and now once that's open, you're going to minimize, and you're going to go to Start, and you're going to click on My Computer. Okay, now you're going to go to your C drive, and you're going to click on Windows. Alright, once here, you're going to look for a file called Explorer. Now, what Explorer is, is um, you see all these icons. Um, that's Explorer running and the taskbar, the windows, that's Explorer. So that handles everything that you see. Um, so you're going to copy it. And you're going to go back and you're just going to make a new folder here or wherever just as long as you have a new copy and you're just going to call it like whatever backup data or whatever. Okay so you're going to click on it and then you're going to paste the file. Alright so now you got a backup. Alright so that's good. Alright, um, now you're gonna actually just minimize it. We might need it again. You gotta bring up Resource Hacker. You're gonna go to File, Open, and you're gonna look for Explorer. Oops, I have Explorer hack. Let me delete that. Okay, you gotta click on Explorer and you're gonna open. Now, this is what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna want to click on string table and go to string table 37. Click on 1033. All right, now right here is where it really starts to come in. Um, this is start as you see start. You're gonna name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it menu, and you're gonna compile the script. Um, once that's done, you're gonna go to file and you're gonna save as. And you're gonna save the file as explorer hack or whatever. Dot exe and make sure you do exe or else it'll just be an empty shell and you need exe. Dot exe. You're gonna save it, and you're gonna just close this out. And once you're here, you're gonna bring up uh, your regedit, 
and you're gonna click OK. Okay, now I wrote down um, how to get there, so just hold on. Um, where is it? Uh, right there, you go. Now, this is where you're gonna want to go. You're gonna go to HK Local Machine Software Microsoft in current version. So let's do that. HK Local Machine Software. This current current version? Yeah, no, Microsoft current version. <laughs> I'm not really good with memorizing things. Microsoft uh, current version. Software Microsoft current version. Oh, where is it? Mm. I think it's actually no, it's on Windows NT, huh? Where'd that come from? Windows NT and then current version. Okay, I need to edit that. And then you're gonna click on Win Login. You should see it. You're gonna click on Win Login, and um, once you're here, you're gonna click on Shell, and remember what you uh, named that to the um, the Explorer hack. You're gonna type in the exact name of it. You gotta make sure you do the exact thing. Explorerhack.exe. You're gonna click on OK, and that's pretty much it. You're all done. Um, you gotta close the registry. And when you reboot, or if you log off and then log back on, you'll see that menu is there. Um, I'm going to stop the recorder and do that, and I'll show you when I'm done rebooting. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, so I just restarted my computer, and it worked. Um, as you see, the name is Menu. And um, if you want to redo this, uh, just do the restore point if you want. Or um, you can simply just do my steps backwards. You can delete Explorer hack and redo the registry. Um, I wouldn't recommend that because messing with the registry without knowing what you're doing, you can really, really mess your computer up. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you had fun. See ya.